Hello everyone, my name is CG here on behalf of Tuya Self Service Stars Team to speak on the subject of charging of renewable energy vehicles and electric scooters and how SARS works with the corresponding charging piles. Uh, so first of all, allow me to give you a general picture of the industry background of vehicle charging. There's an incremental trend of electric vehicles globally now trending towards to 6.4 million in 2021 with Europe and China leading electric vehicle sales. And in comparison to 2020, Europe and China has a growth of 157% and 197% respectively in electric car sales. Apart from at-home charging, all other shared common charging piles would have to be managed systematically, which then leads to definite management problems. So common management problems arises from limited management system, and it causes issues like that without a proper operating system, uh, the cost of management can be significantly high due to the widespread, widespread of the device, devices and difficulties in performing any change, changes and monitoring maintenance. Uh, building a platform from scratch can also be very challenging and time consuming. So our platform exists here to allow users to manage equipment at ease and no matter the amount of the devices and whilst also providing operational conveniences that would be displayed a bit later. Uh, our SARS for charging piles is applicable, applicable in various scenarios. Below are some key scenario examples that we have listed that we believe have great profit making potential. Residential area, for example, being one of the most important landing spots for charging piles in mainland China. Uh, the population density in mainland China is about 153 per kilometer squared. And as a result, most of the residents live in a community like residential area in which uh, charging at home is unavailable. So they would have to charge their electric scooters with a centralized charging approach provided by either the property developers or their uh, local managers. Residents have a stable routine of using their scooters on and off work every day. And since battery capacity is small, they would have to come home to charge basically every night or two. Uh, in regions like Southeast Asia, there are similar setups that can be adopted and in countries like Australia, in which population density is not nearly as dense as China, uh, properties like apartments in CBD areas, uh, especially in cities like Melbourne or Sydney, uh, can be targeted as, uh, as electric boards and scooters provides an alternative way of traveling instead of trams, uh, especially at the moment where a lot of the apartments are built with less than 50 square meters of interior space. Um, office and school is another key scenario that we have listed. In this case, the targeted consumer would have to be teachers and staffs, uh, as going on and off work by a car is still the most dominant method. For example, 69% of working Australians and uh, about still about 80% of uh, employees in the US chooses to travel by car and electric cars becomes more prevalent. The need of charging at work would also consequently increase. Increase. So a functioning monitoring and management system would be extremely important here to ensure charging spots and their status updates to make sure there are sufficient charging and safety and respond to the safety protocols. This could also be served as an employee benefit with lower charging prices. Uh, in shopping malls also have a large amount of staff from various shops and stores that gives, uh, that gives consistent needs for charging with the price of electric cars being so much more affordable now and the statistics on the growth of electric cars provided before. Dealerships of electric vehicles also have the tendencies in placing their dealerships within a lot of the uh, large shopping centers that would also require charging. Another attraction of shopping mall is the large amount of traffic that it provides, especially on weekends, where people can come for a relaxing coffee break or a walk at the mall when their cars need to be charged so they would not have to experience the boring wait time. Since parking lots for shopping malls are normally bigger in size, it is also easier to implement and draw out specific locations for electric vehicles with charging stations. Public parking lot is listed here mainly because it is extremely easy to install charging stations as the major purpose of these public parking lots is to park and drawing up charging spots would be much more convenient. Uh, here we have a complete analysis on operating income for uh, charging stations for electric scooters and such.
Uh, please also note that charging for electric cars will be more expensive and uh, would have a different profit generation model. Uh, in this table, income structure is consisted by two parts. The first part displays the income potential for one device in one day, one month, and one year. <clears throat> the second part displays annual income ranging from five devices all the way to 50,000 devices. Uh, so the key takeaway message here is that although the profit seems very small for a single device, but when stacked together in a long term, it is still very profitable whilst the cost of our SaaS management system is kept at a consistent rate. Uh, we have two different routes on our business model. For manufacturers that has yet to develop a SaaS platform, we can provide an entire SaaS solution for them. And for those manufacturers that has already um, got a working SaaS platform, then we can connect via pass docking. And in both scenarios, we are capable of providing final hardware products with our smart modules included. Uh, our overall solution includes device connectivity, IoT basic services, SaaS and its operating system, after service and maintenance system, and answering calls to lower cost for industry users. Our hardware module supports Wi-Fi, 4G, and Bluetooth, and our IoT pass supports basic services and middle platform, whilst our SaaS platform provides the connection kit, trading kit, and managing kit. And the app includes uh, managers, channels, constructors, and end users. Uh, add these four together, we have our final intelligent operation platform that, so the equipment is extremely fast and intelligent. Uh, we also support mass asset management, uh, mobile payment system, and device connection management. Devices can have the ability to connect in a short frame of time and achieve online long distance control and operation management through connecting set to SaaS platform. The role of device manufacturer and commission agent is that the self-service device connecting to two-year module and um, authorized construction the right to connect to internet through SaaS platform. Uh, so the role of constructor is to be on site to match products and connect device data to, to our SaaS platform. So the manufacturer can control and run devices and operate remotely through SaaS platform. A precision operation can be achieved through our SaaS platform management kit. Some of the key functions that we provide includes uh, dealer and merchant management, and differential pricing operation strategies, uh, whilst also carrying out <clears throat> marketing activities and data management of mass asset and managing goods and consumables. Uh, the payment system can be understood as uh, the equipment and manufacturers side, they can set transaction related fees through the SaaS platform and the users then scans QR code through the app or applets to make payments. Equipment manufacturers can then check user payment data for analytic through our SaaS platform uh, with functions like auto management, transaction data analysis, and transaction report statistics. Uh, so below is a overall introduction to our platform abilities. Uh, our platform can basically be separated into three different parts. Uh, so the SaaS, the first part being the SaaS application. Uh, so in this layer, it is responsible for providing shared power platform capabilities, including electric plugs, uh, two-wheel electric vehicle charging boxes, and four-wheeled electric vehicle charging piles. The second layer is our pass layer. It is the core of the entire self-service device platform, including device management, point management, uh, merchant management, and IoT device access. Platform capabilities output platform access to external self-services and et cetera. Uh, the third layer is our IS layer. It, is mainly, it mainly provides basic services for our IoT device management. Uh, the process of the operation from start to the end for the end user is displayed here. First of all, the user would have to download and register on the app, register on the app. Then the app would ask for uh, location access permissions. And once that is granted, the user can then proceed to scan QR code provided on the charging device. And that would lead to the payment screen. Uh, so once it is set, the system internally directs to send a charging request signal. And once successful, it would appear uh, straight to order confirmation on our SaaS platform. Uh, for users, uh, after they go through the payment screen and with a short wait of seconds, 
they would be able to begin charging once it is turned on. Uh, here we have some of the screenshots that is taken to give you guys a general idea of what our platform looks like. Please also note that our updates are quite frequent, so they may look a little different. Uh, in this slide, we have shown <coughs> the data function, so uh, data market and operation data. In operation data, it would display an overview of uh, orders, uh, activities, and online devices, as well as offline devices. Uh, that would also display uh, functioning and faulty devices. In the data market, it shows a map of uh, turnover and all orders and activities, while it's also showing device status, devices, device status, and statistics. Uh, here we have our function table uh, look, looking at the least servers in shop management. Uh, so in shop management, uh, users can search shop ID or shop name to, to look at the device that they want to look at. And um, <clears throat> so we've also provided a shop status screen that shows if the shop is activated or not. Uh, so self, uh, service category is also provided to give a general description of the shop. Our system is capable of uh, disabling jobs uh, editing shops and the service provided. Uh, so here we're looking at our role management screen uh, under user management. So we have uh, role creations and well as searching for roles. Uh, here we've got one example. We have the username Eddie or EDS and uh, here with the status that it is enabled uh, remarks if needed and uh, operate, which pretty much says to member manage, uh, edit resource management, uh, disable and delete. So basically it's the author authorization that is given to this specific uh, member. Okay, so here we're looking at our QR library, which is uh, one of the most important functions, especially for manufacturers. Uh, it basically generates QR code for device binding. Uh, so here we can see that we have the patch ID, the QR code ID, and the generation type. Uh, so it is also uh, displayed here that this is not associated, but once it's binded to an actual physical device, then it would show up as a green associated uh, symbol. Okay, so in this slide, we have listed some of our OEM capabilities. Uh, first of all, our SaaS OEM that uh, we support custom domain name, uh, logo, cover photo, and menu functions. Uh, in our app OEM, we support a uh, custom logo and cover photo as well. Okay, so here is a screenshot of um, our OEM capabilities and the, the relevant uh, document. Okay, in the following two slides, we'll be showing some of the hardware photos. Uh, our supported hardware ranges from small charging boxes for scooters, portable car chargers, all the way up to standalone charges and fast charging charging piles. So here is an introduction to uh, some of our partners and uh, lots of them being industry leaders in their respective fields. So the first one, uh, Honshi is established in 1973. Uh, they specialize in the production of British standard and Chinese standard electrical accessories with the registered capital of 150 million Chinese yuan. Uh, now the general asset exceeds uh, 800 million. Uh, so the company annual uh, production of electrical accessories uh, is more than eight, eight, 80 million pieces and its production set well in Europe and America, Middle East, Africa and Southeast Asia. The British standard electrical accessories uh, which are designed and developed by uh, Honshi have gained the approval from BSI ASCA, uh, NSAI, and other 11 countries testing organizations. Uh, the second example we've given here is uh, Anfu, which is one of the leading companies in China's high-end uh, low voltage uh, apparatus industry. Uh, a company listed at uh, Shenzhen Stock Exchange and um, drives R&D by customer demands, carries out continuous technology uh, innovation based on uh, customer value important improvements. 
uh, whilst also providing customers with safe, reliable, environment friendly, and energy saving low voltage electrical components. Uh, here we have four current project examples listed from the manufacturer side in which we perform agreement docking and connecting their product into our SaaS system for a complete smart product experience. Uh, please also note that these four manufacturers are all operating in the electrical uh, charging industry. Uh, so this brings an end to our presentation. Thank you all for listening. If there's any questions, please feel free to post uh, any of your questions or inquiries in our live Q&A session in the chat box. Myself and my colleague, uh, Jinyuan Lu, uh, the Solution Architect Specialist, will be answering these inquiries at our best. Thank you. Okay, hello guys. Uh, Thank you all for coming today and listening to our presentation. So um, is there any questions or inquiries we've got for us? Uh, yeah, we can send the uh, uh, slides later after this presentation if you just uh, left your details with us. Key for events. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll look into that. Yeah. For sure, key for events. Yeah, so it was really blurry for all you guys. Yeah, yeah, our services are, are available uh, worldwide, for sure, yeah. Uh, we've currently got some projects working on in Europe, uh, specific, specifically, I think, in uh, UK, I reckon. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, US, Asia, Europe, we can all work. Yeah, uh, I think that might be uh, because of some of our uh network issues that caused the blur but uh we can definitely send the powerpoint to uh to you guys after this session yeah, uh, so if it's under the same so to our service, then I think we can just add on the uh, SaaS system. But then if if the hospitality SaaS is not from Tuya, then I think it has to be a whole new process. Yeah, but then we also have, so our SaaS is a little bit different to other uh, SaaS systems because we have a variety of products. <clears throat> uh, We've also got three more webinars coming about uh, things like uh, vending machines and shared space, like so, like shared office, tea room, coffee rooms, and um, like uh, so, like household appliances as well, like a rental service SaaS. And then yeah, so so with our self service SaaS, it's kind of it's a little bit different to to other ones. So yeah, so there's one slide for business model and benefit. Okay, yeah, we'll share our slides. Yeah, so here is, uh, so we've organized a uh, income table for, this is for like uh, electric scooters and bikes. So charger for these kind of devices. And then what we've listed here is like an esti estimate income and a predicted income. So this is the statistics is based in mainland China but then uh, we expect similar income rates uh, for uh, the global market. Yeah, so I guess, uh, so for a single device on like a daily level, the income is quite low, but then uh, the management sort of difficulties is really low, like as in easy, really easy to manage. So combine that with uh, a bunch of devices in like a year's run with pretty much peace of mind, you can still generate a lot of profit. So yeah. Last couple of slides with major partners' names. Oh yeah, sure. Let me just but can I see the last couple of slides with the major partners' names, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so here on the left is a so like a charger manufacturer for electric scooters and bikes. And on the right is a uh, so a charger manufacturer for electric cars. Uh, they both are respect respectively uh, leaders in their fields, so that's why we've listed them as our major partners. Yeah, on the next slide, we've added 
two, one, one in each. So one for electric scooters and one for electric cars. Uh, so these are the projects that we're work working on, on docking the devices into our SaaS system. Uh, they're pretty much complete. And yeah, so they're all just ready to go. They're all priced differently. And that's why we've included them in here. Okay, cool. Uh, so any other questions? Yeah, uh, so if there's no other questions, then I think uh, we're done for this Q&A session. Uh, thank you guys again for coming here and uh, listening to us. Thank you.